and you'll see this when we get onto the wastewater section. These are, this map shows all the folks who have gotten wastewater related funding. And um, I can adjust the, that executive summary to be more broad, um, but what we wanted, what we were trying to capture in this section are actual things that are happening now instead of what, um, what may happen. Well, my concern is that if you just read the executive summary, it tends to reflect the fact that we are reacting Sure. You know, we bring out things that we responded to in the case of when there was a problem, but not anything that was planned. You know. Well, this report is an implementation report. Okay. So what we're talking about is what has been done. Okay. And I think you, you know, if you read the title of it, it's a regional assessment okay. of implementation status. So uh, you, if you read the plan, you'll get the plan. But this is actually what's been done. What been I asked Cliff for something similar to this because I wanted, I felt like some on the council, including myself at the time, this was, uh, you know, back when we were a little bit in limbo, we didn't know if we were going to get funded. But uh, I, I felt like we had council members that didn't know what the impact of the plan had been. So I, I kind of wanted us to, this, this had to be done, so I wanted us to discuss, um, and we did at the last meeting, how, how uh, the plan is being used in practice. And also what has been done, which is what this this is uh, the main purpose of this. But we've talked a good bit last meeting about the practice, and, um, and since you weren't there, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit if you like. But um, the, the permitting side, Cliff, you want to mention um, how we're using the plans and the permitting side? Yeah, we're, we're using the plans and the permit in some of the LAS discussions when they're looking at areas for LAS. Is it right for this area, or is it? Stepping through that process without looking at it from the lens of a regional water plan perspective is being used in that reason, being used in the 319 discussions of, that we've had uh, amongst a number of groups. But uh, as early as this morning, uh, Michael and I were talking about, for example, the beaver problems that they're having over there in the Alta Baja region. Uh, that group talked about the last meeting the uh, hog problems that they have in that region. So <clears throat> all of those regional those regional issues that are they're dealing with water quality. All of that can be can sort of be tracked back to that 319 program. And for example, if there's an issue that, that we're going to talk about with regard to, to the beavers, we want to go to, to the 319 program. We can find the water quality. If we can find the water quality issue that it would address and the practices that this council has said would be be good for us to go look into um, for those issues that are in the plan. And then we'll go find the ways to make that happen. And then when those types of events happen, let's say you take something, you have that becomes a success story to populate this. But um, but yet yeah, plans are being being used in a number of, of different ways, and they're being used in agriculture for sure. We got the we got our, the plan that talks about the metering, and talks about the leak detection and repair, talks about conservation. And in some areas of the state, those are certainly mandatory. In other areas, they're they're not. But they're they're educational getting out there and we're also sending out information from the plans to um, to some of our permittees for the ag program so um, they're being used in a number of different ways um, 
we have a, we have a larger organization internally. Obviously, the EPD, um, in reality, the fact that they were adopted in 2011, still called them rather new to a lot of a lot of internally at EPD. So still, they're still finding ways, exploring ways that they can be applied and to be true to the intent of the council and uh, what they want to do in the region. So that's still developing, but it has it has been uh, it has been information on that we've got we don't have everybody in the EPD here today we got people who are managing different programs that um, some some of those programs touch our group members some of them don't but um, if you want to have more details on that much along the lines that we discussed discussed at the last meeting we can do that too Joe. Well, one of the nice things that um, I was pleasantly surprised at here is that for 319 funds you have to be addressing some issues that are in the water uh, that hasn't always been the case. Obviously, we didn't have a plan, but several things like that. There's other things that are similar to that that don't require money, do require permits, and it requires you to address things that are in the water plan. Um, it's a requirement. It's, it's a, a requirement to qualify for the, these different fundings for BMPs or growth. Yeah. They have to show how they track back to to your plan. So that's um, you know, that's. For us going from, well, we got a plan that's sitting on the shelf to without our pushing the issue, it's actually being implemented was is, is kind of nice. So that's what this is, is an implementation report. So uh, you know, if, if you want if you want to talk about planning, it probably won't be in this. We we could add a sentence in if you want to to something like planning for wastewater needs in a proactive manner is important to the future growth and development of the region. Equally important are the efforts to improve existing treatment. So I, I that think something in fact the plan, you know, is there and it will be used to anticipate where the growth needs or what the water supply is and how we want to manage and anticipate the waste water needs for us like that. The plan is the place, I would think, for example, in any location, urban areas, town, or other wastewater treatment plan, mm -hmm. they would need to work to the EPD and others say, okay, here's the plan, how big does this need to be and what do we need? Yeah, and Jeff, and it is amazing. If you, if you, Jeff, you may be able to speak more on the suggestion. It deals primarily on the coast. A lot of, a lot of growth going on the coast. Uh, municipal water provisions necessary. Is there anything with regard to these plans? Have population projections. They have uh, projected capacity needs for certain municipalities. And it, are any of the municipal programs that you're dealing with? Are they using the plan to say, you know? I don't think you have enough capacity here, or you're, maybe you're not asking for enough, or maybe you're asking for too much. Does any of that conversation happen? And, and the plan is used as a guide to sort of steer those conversations on the coast or any of the other councils to deal with? Well, um, we on the coast, we have the email issue, which has left the gate on modeling. We have saltwater intrusion issues that has left the gate on modeling on the coast. So they know capacities and they're, looking, they're dealing with uh, future provisions or ideas for addressing it. Um, you do have, in all of these plans, you have what amounts to wasteful allocations on the water quality side because the assessment pretty much determined that. So uh, these, these streams have been ranked with DO, et cetera. So you have that backcasting on all of them. All the time, so that's that's good information. Yeah, the water quality is available, and for water quantity is available. And yes, to your question, um, yeah, we're we're taking every bit into account for future planning. What what are the needs of, of these regions um, on the coast uh, if they don't have the Florida Aquifer to grow on? So. These numbers are all the numbers they have right now until the plans are updated. Uh, so it does steer the discussion. And in fact, we're starting a, 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 work, a, a stickle group um, on the coast for uh, these red and yellow zones. Uh, and it will be using quite a bit of the coastal plan to guide the discussions. So yeah, it's in play. So in, 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 in some ways, the more you got going on in your region, the more useful plans are to some degree. That's right. You know, and so we're sort of a product of that. 